Nora C. Cabral was NCQ is a special woman. Nora Cabral for me equals development communication. We always regard Dr. Nora C. Cabral as the mother of DEVCO. Dr. Nora C. Cabral and her contemporaries have laid the foundation for DEVCOM Los Banos style. While there were many of them during the 50s who were working on using communication for development, it was Dr. Nora Cabral who first articulated the concept of development communication in writing. Sabi nga natin, she, she made DEVCOM as the pioneer in terms of practice, research, and extension in not only in Asia, but also in the world. Nora Quebral was always thinking ahead. She is a woman ahead of the, her, ahead of her time. So there was a time when the Department of Journalism told her, Mamo! Tignan nyo yung ginawa ng isang department dyan, ginaya na naman tayo kung ano yung ginagawa natin, kaya tuloy na walang kami ng istorya. So typical of Nora Kebrel, says, that's not a problem. Pabiyakan nyo sila. We will think of something else to do. Lahat yung mga bagong konsepto sa DEVCOM, pagbalik niya from her PhD, siya lahat ang nagnakad ng pwerso. Laging ang sasabihin niya, ano ba yung bago? Isipin niyo yung bago. At saka talagang ano siya, masyado siyang dedicated and committed sa konsepto ng DEVCOM. Ano? Talagang sold siya sa DEVCOM. Ayaw niyang gamitin yung ibang words. Talagang, basta DEVCOM, DEVCOM yan. The honor and the prestige of putting forward the concept of development communication in academe was given to Nora Cruz Quebral. Uh, for me, Dr. Nora C. Quebral has put DEVCOM Los Baños style uh, on the map, particularly in the disciplines of communication and development. Dr. Nora Cruz Quebral's name also rings a bell, a loud one at that, in international circles. Kahit sa pumunta, uh, ako ay sinuwerte din ako napapiyahin ng ilang beses. Pag nababanggit na UPL di ako galing, Tinatawag ganda natin, ay, hindi kilala mo si Dr. Kebran. Ganyan kasi ikat si Dr. Kebran. Hindi na yung DEFCOM, ay UPLP. I remember when I studied abroad, a professor of mine asked me my affiliation. And when I told that professor that I'm from UPLB DEFCOM, that professor was surprised to learn that I'm still studying development and communication in their university. Last year, I was invited to Bogota in South America and her name was very well known in uh, the university there also. That's when I realized that indeed CDC UPLB is recognized as one of the pioneers of DEVCOM in the world. In fact, they are in awe whenever the name Nora Cabral is mentioned because she is recognized as the a uh, person behind the development of three degree programs, the BS, MS, and PhD in development communication under one institution. As a boss, naku po, mahigpit si, <laughs> mahigpit si NCQ, ano? Takot na takot po kami sa halaga. Ang pagkakilala namin kay Dr. Kerkala Parang Pag nagmi-meeting kami, takot na takot kami magsalita bilang bagong faculty na baka sa talino kasi ni ma'am, baka mamaya kung ano na lang ang sabihin niya sa aming mga komento. No? She was so difficult to reach because of her carriage and her non-verbal language. But she would always remain poised. Even if there's a shower, you will not see her run. She's going to raise her purse and cover her head. 
while everybody runs to get to the closest building. People at the College of Development Communication remember Nora Quebral as the grand lady who always walked in the corridors with her handbag slung on her left arm. Pati yung bubuhat, pagbuhat niya ng kanyang bag, very, ano siya, very regal, pati yung paglalakad, parang naglalakad sa ulap, no? And she was floating in these corridors. No one dared hail her for anything other than uh, something official. Kaso nga lang, dahil sa takot namin sa kanya, pag nakakasalubong namin siya, we go in opposite directions. Ayaw namin talaga siya mabati. But, outside the department. She was a mother to everyone. Si mong pala ay nakakabay at nakakabay ay madaling patawanin. We saw a very different Nora Quebral. She was very amiable. Able to make jokes. Even able to say na sasama siyang manood ng sine, tapos sabi namin, ayoko nga ma'am kasama ka. Sabi niya, eh bakit? Eh, gusto ko namang sumama sa inyo. Sabi, ay, talaga bang gusto niya? Oo, sumama nga. Pinapanood niya mga pelikula ni Harrison Ford, mahilig din siya sa mga detective stories na hindi ko akalain na nanonood pala si ma'am ng mga ganong klaseng mga palabas. Whenever she comes back in the Philippines, lagi na akong may chocolate na pasalubong galing sa Hawaii. Uh, ganyan si Ma'am Quebral, eh. masyado siyang gustong magpataba ng mga tao. At uh, of course, mahilig siya sa kape. Kahit 3-in-1, eh, papatulan yan basta makapagkape lang. At dapat may creamer. Hindi mo mawala yan. So parang ganon si Ma'am NCQ sa akin, Lola. And I really, really um, think that she is a very, very cool Lola. And she was very interested in interacting with her colleagues particularly when it came to discussing development communication related experiences. We were discussing about DevCom and DevCom's history and social media, ICT. Yan yung gustong pag-usapan ni Ma'am Gebrel. Eh. It was really a, a privilege to uh, to discuss these things with uh, Ma'am NCQ. I was also very thankful because Ma'am Gebrel also serves as an inspiration for our students. So, sabi nga ng mga students natin, uh, they always have a hard time in explaining what DevCom is to other people. So, every time they do that, lagi nilang naiisip yung Kebral definition. We are very thankful kasi lagi siyang nandyan to inspire us. And the challenge for younger faculty like me and its graduates is to grow the field and take the discipline to new heights. Maraming maraming kong salamat ko, Ma'am Gebral, sa mga iniwan yung legacy sa amin. Uh, umaasa po kayo na pagpapatuloy po namin ang ginagawa yung pagdudog at pag-develop pag din sa Kaya yeah, ang niya ngayon talagang saludo ko sa akin. <laughs> sa nanay na nga yung pungin ng Dr. Gebral. Kaya siguro masasabi ko na isa akong brand niyan.